pleasantly clear evening conditions absolutely beautiful perfect for the beautiful game temperatures are kind as well no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods it surely must be this game, of course, brought to you from the Sao Januario, located here in the Vasco da Gama neighbourhood of Rio de Janeiro, right by the National Observatory. And as you can see, we've already started here. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. Campbell gets it out to the wing. A oh, really good feat from him. Time to deliver. Crosses in a low one. Turns and goes back. Lingered over it, and the chance to counter had gone. Look, if they're going to counter, it has to be pacier and much more decisive. Very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Now it's Campbell. Now the counter. But it's Campbell. It's a loose ball. Hoist it forward. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. I just think, though, that was selfish and, and a little uncalled for. And he must have been aware that he had options to his left. Promising cross. And out to safety. Wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Now it's Campbell. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Looking to hit the front line. This could be a Costa Rican counter-attack. Sticks in a foot to win it back. And we've reached half time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Reflections on the first half? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. And the second half gets on the way. Costa Rica playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. 
despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Tries to locate someone up front. Paid to a promising move. Torres battles to win it back. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Gets it back. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal saving. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. his foot in there and that's one way of trying to make things happen there's a few who could follow that example good challenge he just stood firm that's been drilled forward could move up a gear here no breakthrough and well into the second period it is still anyone's game Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Big chance! It's a goal! All goals are welcome, but when they come at a time like that, they're priceless. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. some activity down on the touchline it seems there's going to be a change yeah he's run himself into the ground hasn't he and it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift Panama take the lead 1-0 yeah it's been their hard work that has got him this lead but I just wonder whether they can keep it up this may take a toll now Costa Rica are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And the counter is on. Foot in. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Oh, that's a booking. Always looked it. And look, Peter, what they need now are, are cool heads and discipline. And instead, it looks like they've got a liability in their side. Brushed off the ball there. And that's it. One goal settled it. A tense sanic.